I think he's with Miss Gaga at the time. Okay. Yeah. Is there, so a, love, is there a love in your life? <laughs> is he I, the love of my life? I don't know. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I, I don't know. But there's so many. Everyone knows a lot. Who's a new man in your life? <laughs> yeah, we're, we're jumping from burner to a new. Like, yeah, how's the love life? What did you guys like to know? How's the love life? Are you are you uh, married? I'm dating? not married. You're dating. You'd know if I was married. I don't. Hey, I'll post it. Okay, so you always post. I don't always post. No, but I mean marriage. Okay, I'm posting. But you're in a situation. I'm in a relationship. I'm never in a situation. I'm in a relationship. Oh, okay. I haven't seen him. <laughs> no, I don't show him. <laughs> okay, this one you're not going to show. That shit is crazy. The disrespect, man. Fellas, when it comes to these types of women, bro, have your fun and move around. If a woman is in the industry or if she's trying to get in the industry, best believe she's going to be running through a bunch of these artists for features, She's going to be smashing dudes uh, for beats. She's going to be smashing dudes to book shows. She's going to do whatever it takes to further her career. So don't be surprised if this chick said some shit like this while she have a boyfriend. <laughs> Think about the boyfriend seeing this right now. <laughs> this shit is crazy, fellas. You can't save a bird. Have your fun and move around. This chick just embarrassed her boyfriend, whoever that nigga is, bro. Imagine you with a girl and she's telling you the love of her life is some of the nigga. What? So you gotta go, man. But here's the thing about a bird, fellas. A bird will always show you signs of who she is. As a man, your job is to simply pay attention to the signs, bro. The signs are always there. And a chick like her, don't wife up, bro. Have your fun and move around like Brenna Boy did. It's crazy. My fiance and I have been together for over a year now. He's 11 years older than I am. Oh. oh. I've met his parents occasionally and they like me, but he's never met my mom who raised me all by myself, by herself. We planned a dinner where I would introduce um, his family to my mother. Mm -hmm. My fiance paid for the flight ticket for my mom to come down from New Jersey for the introduction. When we walked into his parents' home, everyone was looking at my mother like they had seen a ghost. Oh, oh God. Oh, I like that. Even my mother was starting to act very, very weird. Hey. Long story short, oh, no. I found out that my fiancé's father had cheated on his wife with my mother. Oh! Hence, they weren't too happy to see her. Oh! No. And they weren't too fond about letting their first son marry the daughter of the woman that hey. tore their family apart. No. no. Eh? I, um, ah. His parents are still together though. And this lady saying, if they can get past that and stay together, then surely they should be able to forgive my mum and let me marry their son. My mum made it clear that she was very, very sorry. But then she dropped the bomb. Oh no. She said that my fiancé could possibly be my half-brother. This right here is nasty work, bro. Nasty, nasty work. Fellas, it's like I always tell you guys, man. If you want to know if your girl is a bird, meet her mother. It never fails, bro. If her mother is a bird, it's impossible for her to raise a daughter who is a virtuous woman. If her mother is single because she can't find a man, she never been married, those are all signs of a mother who is for the streets. And when you deal with a chick who got a mom who is for the streets, you will run into some shit like this. This right here is crazy. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, AQ, and I'm back with another video for you guys today. And the video that we're going to take a look at today is a video of all people, Trick Ross, no, I mean Rick Ross, giving men free game on how to never get turned down by a woman. This should be quite interesting. Let's get into the video. Listen, I'm out here with some of my little player partners, and we just sharing game amongst each other. And what I just wanted to share with them, and this go for anybody that's watching. Let's say you at the awards, you anywhere, and you run into, I'm talking about A-level, 
baddest chicks you could ever imagine. When you, listen, she could have her two bodyguards with her. All you got to do is walk up. Excuse me, excuse me. Would it be rude for me to introduce myself? No, oh, keep going. But everybody got to understand your strengths and your weaknesses. I understand my strengths. I got confidence, culture, swag. Ooh. No, it's different levels of game for different levels of situations. You did. When you're in front of somebody who done heard everything in the world, that's when you pull out your A game. That's like with Rose running to Jeff Bezos' niece. Boy, if you don't get now, this is a case where money made this man delusional. Fellas, whenever you use your money to get women, you get confused. You start thinking that these women like you for you. But it's never you, bro. It's your money. Now, if you take a good look at this man's life. His first baby mother was a call girl. Or you could say a sex worker. His other baby moms be doing some crazy-ish online. I don't really keep up with her, but she got like three kids by three different men. And his new baby moms, I think they are video vixens. So this man got a history of tricking, using his money to pull women but he reached a point in his life where he's confused he started thinking man these women like me because i got swag i got culture no bro it's your money that's it and they don't really like you because if you look at this man entire history he could barely keep a woman yo let me tell you something fam if a nigga got money and you see him with multiple women and all that and he can't keep a woman is pretty much because he's only attracting birds. And when it comes to a bird, once you stop giving them money, once you stop tricking, they're going to leave you. So any woman who get with a Rick Ross, once the tricking slows down, she's going to bounce. It don't matter if, if he had a kid by her, she's going to leave him because she was never into him. And this is why I tell you all dudes all the time, bro don't feed the birds and fellas never let your money make you delusional bro never let your money make you confused out here because you'll be sounding like him right now women is laughing at him saying this they laughing like ha this nigga think we really fuck with him for him and this is why i tell y'all dudes all the time bro self-improve money is a tool don't use your money to pull women a woman should want you for you and that's why your job is to be the best version of yourself. Because once you become the best version of yourself, you will develop real confidence, not fake confidence. Fake confidence is, oh, I got money. So let me go to the Gucci store and buy a bunch of Gucci. Let me go buy some designer to impress these women. Oh, I got money. So let me go buy a fancy car to impress these women. Oh, I got money, so let me go to the club and get a section so I could impress these women. Oh, I got money, so let me go buy a mansion so I could impress these women. All you're doing is making women impress with what you got and not who you are. <laughs> and as a man, you're always going to lose like that, bro. You're always going to lose and you're only going to be able to attract birds. You will never be able to attract a real, wholesome, virtuous woman. Have y'all ever seen Rick Ross with a real, virtuous woman? No, think about it. Have y'all ever seen this man with a woman where y'all can say like, yo, damn, he pull a nice one. The only woman you will always see men who are tricks around is birds. Fellas, don't feed the birds. That's just the bottom line. Before you guys leave, let me just say thanks to all the new subscribers. Welcome to the SDC fam. And if you guys appreciated the content, go ahead and show some love right now and like and subscribe. Do so for your boy right now. Go ahead. If a man don't want to pay your bills and he got it, he don't like you.
If your man don't want to pay your help you and you having a problem with your light bill and he don't pay it and he don't go out and try to get it for you, that ain't the ninja for you. I don't know what y'all young girls out there. It ain't free. It ain't never been free and it ain't going to be free. Okay? Coochie ain't free. And y'all giving it, y'all fucking up the game. Giving it for free. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, I'm starting to talk about somebody. They told me stop. If you haven't yet, go get you some of that merch. Y'all already know, don't feed the birds. That's what it is. We don't feed the birds over here. So if you rock with your boy, go get you some of that good merch.